I get to do this one twice. I copied the problem down wrong the first time and um, didn't put an 11, put a one. So let's try this one again. We're gonna use the in center of a triangle. Um, I have three angles that I have bisected with the red lines and just did them by eyesight so they're not perfect, um, but pretty close. And then the in-center theorem states that the in-center, which is the point of concurrency of these um, angle bisectors, is gonna be equal distance to the sides of the triangle. So NE, ND, and NF are the same size. And I'm told what ND and NF is. So I'm gonna set them equal to each other to solve it, to figure out what NF will be. And then they're gonna ask me a question about NG. Okay, so 5X minus one equals 2X plus 11. I will subtract two x from both sides because I need the x's on the same side. I have three x minus one equals 11. I will add one to both sides. And three x equals 12. I will divide by three and get x equals four. Okay, now plug that into either one of those. It does not matter. Five times four minus one. So I use this one. That's 20 minus one, which is 19. So that means this DN is 19, NE is 19, and NF is 19. So there's part of my answer. Now the second question asks, can NG be equal to 18? Well, let's look at NG. It just extended off of EN. And if you'll notice, this is a right angle here and that would be a hypotenuse of a right angle, and the hypotenuse is always the longest line. So they're asking if it can be 18. Well, it can't be 18 because this side is 19. It's gotta be longer than 19. So can it be 18? No, 